Okay, we're now going to derive for the henderson hasselbalch equation. That's, uh, forgive me right here, Mr. Hasselbalch. which is great for describing how weak acids behave in solutions of water. So we have a generalized acid-base reaction as some acid disassociating, dissociating into its proton and its conjugate base. Great. We already know we can write a Ka acid dissociation constant by saying that the protons times the conjugate base over undissociated acid is equal to some constant value. Now, if we rearrange for the proton, we find that, okay, it's real simple. We say Ka times Ha. divided by A. I apologize, I should not be saying HA and A. This is the acid dissociation constant times undissociated acid times conjugate base, uh, it's divided by conjugate base, is equal to the proton concentration. Okay, now we're going to take the negative log of each side. That's legal since we're doing it to both sides. It's negative. I have to be very careful over here. Some people have some problems with my manipulations here. So essentially, we're saying that it's equal to the pH, right? We define P as a negative log of something. And uh, we determined how to find the pH scale. So, all right. We're going to move over here with a small little math review. Okay, so um, uh, let's see. If you have negative log of AB you can just as easily describe that as the negative log of A plus the negative log B. Put these. 
It's an identity. So essentially we're considering Ka, the acid dissociation constant, as this factor and this as this factor. All right, that wasn't too bad. So, um, here. You just store this as something you can refer back to if you'd like. So, um, let's now rearrange this if we follow this rule, we can rearrange the equation as P K A minus the log of undissociated acid over conjugate acid. Or you can just as easily say that pH is equal to pKa plus the log of A over HA which is conjugate acid over undissociated acid. Uh, this just comes from another identity. You can interchange these with another logarithmic identity, but I'm not going to go over that. If you want to know how I got from here to here, consult the logarithmic identity properties. Okay. There we go, the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation.